Hello YouTube, and today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on pretty much how to set up a website for free. It's not a .com, but it can be a .tk, or you can just leave the normal link, which has a bunch of random letters and crap in it. So pretty much, what you're, and it's going to be running IP board too, so if you know what that is, which I'm going to show you first. So, for those people that don't know. So pretty much I'm going to go to my website, IHC, and here it is, lobbies.netii.net. See, this is like how my link was, I put in IHC lobbies and it gave me this. But if you don't like that, you can type in .tk, and like you can, it doesn't automatically do this, but I'll show you how to do this in a minute. So pretty much like I added in all these folders, subtitles, and everything I added in. This is the plugin, which I'll show you how to add in in another video. So pretty much what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to you're going to zero 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 webhost.com, press enter, and then you're going to go to members area. But if you haven't signed up yet, which most of you haven't, you're going to click sign up here. Type in the domain like you saw mine was IHC there, and then later we're going to change this to a .tk, which this link will still be active. So you're going to type in your name, you're going to type in the email that you're going to use, your password, type it again, and yeah, it's pretty much done. You're going to confirm your email at Yahoo. So once you've done that, you're going to go to members. Like it's going to take you straight to the web page, and it's going to tell you that it's uh, it's pretty much building your website, and uh. That's pretty much what it's going to do. So uh, let me just copy this email real quick. Type my password. Okay, so let me just type this in. Okay, submit. Okay, so once you like uh, go to confirm the email, it'll be a long link. It'll tell you like it'll say building, and then it'll ask you. It'll have refresh here, and if you click re keep pressing refresh when the website's done, it'll say active like mine. You're gonna go to cPanel once that's done, and you'll see all this stuff up here. You can go to your website, which it'll have a page with like it'll say that it's pretty much saying that your website's active. So you're, now you're gonna go to MySQL. And you're going to pretty much type in, I just type in JTAG for the first one and then mods for my username. And yeah, my database name is JTAG. Then you type in your password again. Click create database. And as you can see, my password right here, but you know, I blurred it out for a reason because I don't want people seeing my password. Even though I just made up a random password, it doesn't matter. So now you're going to go back to my SQL. And you're going to have this down here at the bottom. It's going to say MySQL, MySQL user, MySQL host. So pretty much what you're going to do now that you have all this set up, you're going to download FileZilla if you don't already have it. And you're going to go to for your host. Here, let me just go. Okay, so your host is going to be this IP address over here. Everyone should be the same. I'm not exactly sure if that's correct, but mine looks the same on my other accounts. Next, you're going to type in your user, which you don't put the mods after. You're just going to type in this first thing, because if you look right here, username shows it right there. Now you're going to type in your password. And if you type that in wrong, it'll load all the way, and it'll say it'll give you an error right at the end. So now that I'm, I have this here, like you might, and you're gonna go to this folder right here. It's public HTML. You will have files in here, but I've uh, messed around with it and I deleted the files out of here. So it doesn't matter. You can delete these out when you're gonna install it. But as long as you uh, like, cause this all this is like this in here is your web page, and it gives you a default web page, which is gonna tell you what's there. So I just deleted everything out. It doesn't show anything. But when you paste these files in that I'm you're about to paste in for the IP board three two three. It will actually show something up. So now you see IP board three two three, which you get to download that. And then there's a shout box right there. But I had a minute ago. Hold on. What I had a minute ago, and uh, like I'll show you how to install that in a minute. Or in another video. Sorry. Hold on. My mic's like jacked up. So sorry about that. So uh, pretty much what it's gonna do is it's gonna one more. It's gonna send these files over. And if you already have it extracted, it shouldn't take this long. But once it's done that, it's gonna take about three minutes, and it's gonna transfer. I think it was three. I think. Uh, let me think. It was like three how three thousand and thirty files over to your web page, and that's pretty much what the point of this is. It's gonna send all the files like straight to your web page, which is pretty neat in my opinion. But uh, yeah. So I'm gonna come back when this is about done. I might come back after it's done because I'm not paying attention, but hopefully I can come back before. So be right back a little bit, but. Okay, guys, I'm back, and it's about halfway done. As you can see, this is what it looks like when you're, uh, do, uh, like when you're installing this stuff. You get like this spam. You get 
response and then the status and command. And this status is pretty much updating you, but it's going so fast you can't tell. The command is t it's telling you what to do, and the response is what it's saying, pretty much, or what it did. So yeah, that's pretty much the explanation for that. Just made that up. <laughs> I'm kidding. And uh, sometimes you get this. Just press OK. It's it more than likely it won't transfer. It happened to me once. It didn't transfer. Hold on, guys. Didn't transfer. Didn't change anything. Didn't make it any different. I'm gonna clue what that's for. But sometimes like you don't get anything that pop up. Like if you don't get anything that pops on your screen to press OK, then you're fine. I mean, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm not sure what it's what the reason is. If I knew, I would tell you guys. So, um, pretty much it's getting pretty close to being done. But I'm just going to pause the video anyways because we got about a couple, oh, about 700 more to go. So, I'll be right back. And don't miss, don't troll with my math skills. Okay, guys, I think it's about done. If I'm correct, it's going to be done in just like a couple seconds. Hopefully, I'm correct. <laughs> I might be wrong, guys. Might be wrong, so we'll just see. Yeah, and it's completed. Like I said, right there. So now that you see this is completed, I'll uh, just move this back up so you can see. Like, see in the public HTML, you see all the files right here. See these right here? They came from right here. Okay, this is on the web page at the moment. So now what you can do is you can just exit out of the filezilla. You can go to your internet right here. You click this right here. And you get there and get this IP board. What you're gonna do is you can click next. Click you agree to this crap. Who cares? Yeah, this is asking if you want to install anything else. Yeah, next. This is pretty much where it's stored at. Yeah, just next. License key, screw it. You don't need it. I gave this to, This is like a cracked version. Okay, so pretty much when you're here, local host. Ah, fell. Okay. You're just going to copy this right here. Just going to paste it in local host. And then, yeah, that. And then your database name, which is going to be MySQL database. Just copy that, yep, like a boss. Paste that in. Then just, I'm just going to paste it a second time because my username right here is underscore mods, and I'm just going to delete the JTAG and put mods there. So, MODZ, there you go. Then my password, you're just going to type in the password for your account. Then you're going to type in the prefix, which is pretty much just this, and you, you type in like your, uh, uh, like one of these two, like your database name or your SQL username, and you just type it in. You delete the prefix that you added at the end, and it's just going to be your username and then an underscore after it. Once you've done that, you can click next. There you go. Then you're going to make your username. Uh, you can pretty much make it whatever you want. I'm just going to make it my name, make my password. Okay, that looks about right. Then you're gonna do your email. So I'm just gonna type in. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. Control V. Okay. Next. Start installation. This will not take as long as the other thing did, or it hadn't took as long for me. So uh, it'll just take a couple minutes. It's got one of 13 steps to install it to your website, and then you should be ready to go. You'll be ready to set up your tabs and everything. And, uh, guys, uh, I'll be setting up websites for this. You can get different skins, which, while this is doing the setting up, I'm going to show you. It's pretty much what we're going to do. So, you're going to go to this link I'm going to give you in the description. It's Form Core. Control V, enter. Uh, keep in mind, you will need to make an account to be able to download stuff. I think. I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you need to make an account. I think if I made an account, you needed to make an account, so, yeah. Yeah, so I made an account, so you needed to make an account, because, you know, why would I waste my time making an account if I didn't have to? So, you're pretty much going to go down, and because I gave you IPB323, you're going to go to IPB. So this You can get downloads off this website, but I'm using, like, the one that I know works for sure, and I've used it for all my websites, and it works very good, in my opinion. And uh, I haven't seen like it mess up with anybody or nothing. So now you're gonna get IP IPv3.2. Then the X is like because they can update in the series and they know what the series are already because most of them are already made. 
and see it says three two only which this is someone that made this that's like this is just like post where people have made skins like there's skins like seven sins and stuff like that uh i might make a tutorial on how to install skins so pretty much let me just find a skin real quick that i think looks cool okay this one looks really cool in my opinion the seven sins v5 and one of the things is is the re you can view this you should be able to view it for me internet stop being annoying Okay, so you can view this for hidden content, but every like every time you need to like make a reply on the topic to be able to see this. But I'll link to this post, and this is pretty much gonna hidden content. You'll be able to see this once you reply to this topic. See, but I'm not gonna reply to the topic because all I need to show you is the screenshots, so you can see what it looks like. So it's kind of looks just like Seven Sins. I mean, it looks really good in my opinion. That looks good, right? Mm hmm You know it does. So, uh, yeah, so that's how you can get skins and crap. So, congrats, your, uh, Invasion Power Board is ready and installed to use below. Below are some f fine links useful. I don't know. Not ah, see. Like I said. So, pretty much you just can get to go back to your website. Take a minute to load. Okay. Then you have this look. See? You got a website set up. Yay. So, you're just gonna sign in. Username. Password. Sign in. And I'm pretty much going to show you how everything works here. So you just set up the forms out before, like you saw, this is how it started out. And you have to set up all the forms. You uh, Category would be this. And this is like the parts of the category. So I'm going to show you how to set up one of those. So you're going to click. This is for moderators. So if you're a moderator, you'll have this. And if you're an admin, you'll have both. So you're going to click on the admin CP. And this right here is like the login to the admin, so like just randoms can't log into it. So you have to be an administrator to get to this. So pretty much you're just going to type in uh, your username and password. Press enter. I'm just going to see what time the video is at. Okay, we're at 12 minutes. Y'all can get over it, right? Because I'm showing you all more stuff than y'all need to know. So, so that, uh, yeah. Okay. So, pretty much what I'm going to show you how to do now is I'm going to show you how to set up the forms, forms, manage forms. Yeah. So, you're going to have test category. You can rename this. Edit as form. Test category. So, I'm just going to make this, uh, hmm, is this a form or a category? Oh, screw it. I'm just going to delete it. So, pretty much. Edit, okay, so I'm just gonna make like one like okay, so it's gonna be like a place like so I can show mods So I'm gonna do like Okay, who cares YouTube videos Category would be test category. So every time like if you want to add a new part So like pretty much what this is doing is like uh, hmm Okay. This probably isn't gonna happen for you. That just kind of jacked up. Okay. Okay, so now you see YouTube, and then you see a test form. So now I'm just gonna edit that. Uh, form rules. Okay. Hmm. That's not weird. Okay. It's kind of it's kind of difficult for me to set it up for the first time. But once I have like the first ones edited and crap. Oh, good from there. Okay, so like, uh, YouTube videos, and then normally, like, on my website, I just put four dots down there. And then you're gonna do, like, every time, like, you're gonna go and go to, like, the folder, so you're gonna do YouTube. And then you're gonna save form. And, and you can change, you can see it. So that's what I did too. So now, like, let me add one more. So now you're gonna go, not a category, a category is like this right here. And a form is like these things right here. So you're gonna make a category. So like I could do model for three. And then I do all like general discussion, modding glitches, and stuff like that. So if you go to community right here, and I'll show you, it'll it says titled YouTube, and then it says YouTube videos, and then the dots right there. You can go inside of it. You can make posts. Yeah, welcome. That's the topic it made because when I made the website, start a new topic. Yeah, cool, right? 
Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make your website a .tk. Okay, this is something that like we figured, me and my friends figured out a while back in Instagram with the websites, and we thought it was pretty cool. So you're going to go to this website I'm going to give you. It's uh, a www dot dot like the period, then a, then the word dot, then dot .tk. And then you're just going to type in the shortened ULR, and you're going to go to your website, which would be, I'm just going to copy this. Copy. Probably need to do HTTPT. Okay, hold on. HTTP colon slash slash slash, and then shorten your arc. Click go. And you're just gonna make this uh, YouTube dot TK. Okay. Then you're gonna do how long you want to do it for. Let's just do 12 months. Uh, I'm just gonna do it for a month because I might get. I'm probably gonna give this to somebody if anybody wants one. You can change the name and grip. Brandon's might have been because I was doing capitals. Let's try that. So I brought my mic. Okay, it worked. Okay. Brandon's website dot tk. Okay. So now, as you can see, the YouTube website still works. So I can still you. Think that is lagged. So I can still use this YouTube website to get on my website. And if I okay, let's just exit out of this. And if I type this in, if I type in the dot tk. It runs a little bit slower, but it still takes you to the website, so you can do any .tk, and after you use it about five times, the .tk, it should stay the .tk the whole time. Even if they leave the web page, it'll still stay the .tk. Let's see if I can get this to work. And it's being a pain in the butt, so let's try a new web page. Okay, it's not doing it right now, but after a while, it should stay the same. So if anybody wants this website, uh, I'll give it to you. And next, I'm going to make another video in a minute, and I'm just going to show you how to install the uh, shop box. So, uh, thanks for watching, and subscribe, and I'll have another one coming soon, so thanks for watching.